Hi, it's Norman Kochnack here for Eyes on Cricket with Norman Kochnack. I'm here again in Coogee, just relaxing, having looked at some newspapers from both Australian papers as well as a number of English papers, which are obviously warming up more and more now with the impending test match, the first test match between India and England at, in Chennai. Um, very interesting, one article here in the English newspapers, in fact, it's um, well noted as Graham Thorpe, former um, English batsman Graham Thorpe, thank you, Graham Thorpe is actually set to welcome Joe Root into an elite English 100 cap club. So this looks like Joe Root's 100th test, the Chennai batch, which gives um, Joe um, Root a, a special reason to be playing well in that test. He's got, already got a century and double century in the previous series in Sri Lanka, but this being his 100th test, maybe he's deemed to be someone who can score 100 in that match, which will go nicely with his 100 cap. There's also Rory Burns is back for England and prepared to for the life in the bubble. He's obviously got a period of time that he's going to be spending in the bubble, but he'll be joining the England team. And I think Rory Burns is an important inclusion into the uh, English batting lineup, as a matter of fact. The likes of Sipley, um, they've got and Crawley, with the likes of Root. It'll be interesting to see what the story is there. So that's that's in the newspapers today. A lot of discussion around that. There's also um, a lot of headlines. The English are very good at headlines, which are rather sensational, like Virat Kohli, the Indian captain labelled the world's best batsman for three reasons. So you've got to read down to see what the three reasons are. And there's obviously his captaincy, his aggression, and his batting ability that uh, putting him as a legendary level as captain. Um, it is interesting though, because they then go on to say, um, Virat Kohli warned he will have to step down as Indian captain on one condition. And I think that's a bit of play on words. The reality is that the role between him, as in Kohli and Rahani, and that sort of, uh, this created battle, which there isn't one, of their captaincy roles. In fact, they both complement each other fantastically. Virat Kohli's the captain, Rahani's the vice captain, and could well deputise any one moment's time, as we've seen in the Test Series in Australia, and how well he did. There's obviously the likes of Pujara there as well. Um, he was temporarily a vice captain for a period there, and Robert Sharma also vice captain. So they've got four captains in that side, effectively. The letter C or VC doesn't mean too much. The reality is a C for captaincy implies uh, the person who makes the final decision, but I think that is a collaborative decision. With Coley's aggression that's come through for a number of series now being the key to that. Uh, we're seeing a lot of photographs of the English players with their masks on, whether it would be in the English colours or the English logos, and obviously that's a significant sign of not only the situation in England, but also in India and the, le the level of COVID. We're lucky here in Australia. I mean, I have, a, I have a mask, but the level of COVID here in Australia is very much under control. We're able to walk around quite freely. Obviously, if we go inside a restaurant or a supermarket, we have to wear a mask, but otherwise we're pretty much right. The, yeah, a lot of the newspapers in, a, in, in England, the, the likes of The Guardian, uh, The Sun, the, uh, there's a number of papers that they do have that um, circulate, in the Independent for example is another, that's again focusing on Burns prepares for test series in India with a hotel shadow batting. So they're just talking about the way he's practicing and as most of them have been, I mean Steve Smith's a classic for that, the shadow bat in the, in the actual um, hotel rooms, it's not necessarily the, as good as playing but we get to the, so yeah, there's a lot of discussion on, on, on Rory Burns and his play. And the reality is that the, the headlines are and the sun was quite sensational. In a spin, England cricket fixtures are announced. Of course, they have been. There is quite a, a range of matches. Obviously, the first and second test in Chennai, the third test and fourth test in Ahmedabad. The dates there: February the fifth to ninth, second test thirteenth to seventeenth, third test is in Ahmedabad, which will be a slightly interesting proposition. Twenty fourth to twenty eighth of February, and then on to the fourth in Ahmedabad yet again which will be March 4th to March 8th. So that's quite a series. And there's a series of five T20s, all of them in Ahmedabad from March 12th to March 20th. And then a series of ODIs in Pune from March 23rd to 28th. So that's the series there. But England are talking, talking up the situation. They're playing some 17 tests this year. They're gonna get a lot of, a lot of practice. Well, they may well need it. Against, against India, they're gonna struggle deeply to, to actually get through the first test and second I think they're going to be in trouble there. They may be lucky enough to draw one of the two but they're likely to lose both. That's my predictions at this point. The other interesting thing is Michael Clark's come out in the press here in Australia quite heavily about um, 
the whole situation with Tim Payne's captaincy. He's still bewildered by some of the decisions that Tim Payne made and is not showing a very glowing report on, on his belief of Tim, Tim Payne as captain. He's one of the few that have actually come out and not really, not really supported him. He's, he's been quite against him. And it's interesting how Mark Clark stuck his neck out about there, but that's probably appropriate. I mean, obviously Trevor Holmes as selector, the likes of um, Justin Langer as the coach, uh, a number of other uh, ex-captains have all been saying, you know, he's doing okay. Ian Chappell once again said, well, what choice have we got? The interesting thing is that they are discussing the likes of an Aaron Finch, and that's that the term of a Michael Brearley-esque um, matter where Aaron Finch says, well, he's not young anymore, but he's deemed to be maybe a saviour that might be able to come back into the test side to be the captain role, not necessarily being the best batter at this point in time, but he certainly could fill a role as an opening batsman, so there's no reason why he couldn't be in that situation. So. It's rather unique that um, Michael, Michael Brearley references made in terms of Aaron Finch being a potential captain of Australia. So that's, the, that's what we have so far in the papers the most recent days. And I'm going to be reporting more on English papers, some of the Indian and certainly Australian. So there's a mixture of papers I'll be reporting on, but the English had the sensational headlines as per normal. And there's a lot of focus not on, the, on cricket in England. They've obviously got the, the, the soccer, as I would call it, their, their football. In, in heavy um, um, emphasis as it's the season that they're in. This is Norman Koshnick for Eyes on Cricket with Norman Koshnick. Stay tuned, please view, like and share, and certainly go about sharing it so we can get more subscribers and grow the channel as I would love to do. We're pretty close to 10,000. Thank you again for all the viewers for making me reach that level. I appreciate you greatly. Norman Koshnick here for Eyes on Cricket with Norman Koshnick.